Hey everyone! Laura Winter here from Vox Women. We're very, very excited about our guest for tonight and I have pages and pages of questions as well. Hi guys, hello! Thanks for joining us for another Instagram Live. Lots of people coming on this evening, which is good. I hope wherever you are in the world, you are happy, healthy, all is okay where you are. We have a very special guest for this evening. Um, I have pages of questions that have come in as well for her. We're very excited. I am indeed talking to Cecily Uptred Ludwig. She is bang on time as well. Let's get her in with Cecily. Um, we all remember that Flanders interview, don't we? <laughs> it is absolutely brilliant to have her here. Hi. Woohoo! Hi. Hi. <laughs> Awesome! How are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. I'm good. It's so nice to see your face again after, yeah, a few months now, isn't it, since we last spoke? It is. Like, uh, yeah, like you said, it was in November at the Roulette Classic. Yeah, that's right. You did an interview. Um, we briefly caught up. I think we had you on the podcast then as well, actually. Um, yeah, and it's just, that seems like another world, doesn't it, right now? It does seem like uh, Corona was something that was uh, in China, you know, like uh, yeah. it was, uh, yeah. But so you, anyway. you just said the C word. <laughs> we said. <laughs> oh, anyway. God, we're not allowed to. <laughs> so when we agreed to this interview, I said, I said, will you come on and do it, you know, a Q&A with us? Um, and Ceci said to me, we mustn't mention the C word. We mustn't say the C word. This is about positivity and happiness and uplifting people. Um, so that's the first and last time we will say coronavirus. It's done. Um, so where <laughs> are you? You're in Denmark deal. right now, right? <laughs> yep, yeah, I am. Deal. So <laughs> I think there is some kind of delay in this or not. Is it just me? Yeah, it, it'll work itself out. I think it's because so many people have just joined to see you. Don't worry, Instagram will sort itself out. <laughs> Awesome! And people are texting. <laughs> Woohoo! Hi, guys. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Yeah, I'm in Denmark, um, and I went home. So I, normally I live in Spain, and yeah, uh, when they did the full lockdown, it just made sense. Oh no! Be nice. Oh, sorry, your, um, your internet just went crazy and you became like a robot to me anyway. Um, so you're, don't worry, you're in Denmark and you left Spain, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. Uh, so tell me if I need to change my Wi-Fi then. Because <laughs> At the moment, it's perfect. Can you okay. hear me okay? Yeah, I hear you perfectly. See, this is like, it's like live television. All the technical gremlins... That normally you see behind the scenes and I don't have to deal with and you don't have to deal with. We're now <laughs> presenter, interviewee, sound technician. All yeah. Um, <laughs> we've had so many questions in for you, which is so fun. Um, so I'm going to go straight in with some of these. <laughs> okay, fact. shit, we go straight in, we dive in. Whoop. We're yes, going straight in. in. I mean, I'm, these are my scribbles, but we've got page, look at this, pages of them. Okay. Um, <laughs> So Coop8686 asks, are you a dead fish or a happy banana? <laughs> <laughs> what is your mood today? <laughs> I think it's a combo, you know, so it's a, how can you say it? Like it's, so it's a happy dead fish and a, and a crazy banana, but you know, I don't know how you mix them. Uh, can you say? Uh, I think a crazy dead fish would be kind of like, yeah, not a good yeah, <laughs> Okay. Let's say cra crazy dead fish or what, what did you say? No. Crazy dead banana? <laughs> Crazy dead banana. <laughs> okay, we say that. Okay. Um, but I love it. Like, the two moves. I've, it's brilliant. Um, your favourite song? That's come in as well. Ooh, my mm. favourite song. That's, you know, really difficult because yeah. um, I have songs for different moods, no? I mean, sometimes, yeah. you know, when you're sad, you listen to this music, and then when you're uh, more happy, then you listen to that, you know? Um... I don't know. At the moment, I uh, I really like um, push the feeling on by Nightcrawlers and the remix. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, I like that. What do you like listening to when you're on the turbo? Because I know you've just got Swift, haven't you? Yes, I joined last week. Oh, <laughs> yeah. 
yeah what's your go-to training playlist then uh okay so we actually from just the shoe has um my team has uh, made a playlist for all of us so you should oh, go cool. join that yeah because then all of our writers chose three songs that we like yeah. and then um you should go to and hit that playlist that's a really good one there we go um so Zwift, when are we going to see you racing? Mm, baby steps, Laura. <laughs> baby steps. I'm taking. May, may, okay, so um, maybe in the future, but you know, like nothing beats the road, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I, I agree with that, but I think there is something to be said for racing on Zwift at the moment when we've got mm -hmm. no other racing going on. That That is true. I mean, and I also like that, you know, you have Swift as a platform so that you can ride with people who are in different right. countries. Um, and I really like that. Like we did a team ride last week as well. And, you know, it's so cool that you can sit in France and sit in Denmark and sit in Australia and then all ride together and um, like chat to each other. I think it'd be fabulous to see you do a race. And then have somebody within your family, who I know you're locked down with at the moment, so your, your parents and your younger brother, and for them to do a post-race interview with you. <laughs> you can get some of the Cessna <laughs> vibes post-race on Zwift. I think this is a must-do. Yeah, that could be fun, actually. Yeah, okay. See? You're coming around to it. <laughs> we, did, we did have a Zwift question in, actually. John Scale asked... Your first impressions of Zwift, and um, are you drinking plenty of virtual Fanta? <laughs> <laughs> I'm drinking real Fanta. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, and yeah, I mean, so I only joined Zwift last week, so and I've done it two times now. Um, also doing a, a public ride this Saturday, actually. Are you? Yeah, it's gonna be nice. Um, okay, so um, my my yeah, I, I feel it was really nice. Um, and also I, I really like that we have our our jersey, you know. Um, so it, I I feel it's uh, it's actually pretty cool. But like I said, if I can choose between the road, nothing beats the real deal. No, I, I agree with you there. I can, I can see where you're saying that. Um, I've got to ask you about put the hammer down because mm -hmm. the response you had on social media to the hashtag put the hammer down, which of course refers to that infamous interview you did, oh my gosh, last year, almost, yeah, last year, just over a year ago now after finishing third at the Tour of Flanders. Did you expect that kind of response when you put it out there? No, but it was so cool. Like people were, you know, really like making fun videos and fun pictures. And, you know, like it was so cool that we were, you know, separate, but in a way it felt united, you know, because people were just putting the hammer down and it felt like we were together putting the hammer down, you know, and I like that. Yeah. And I think doing something like that and bringing so many different people together is, is what it's all about right now, isn't it? We're apart, but actually mentally we are all in this together i know we're all in the same boat so let's uh, yeah. put the hammer down do some fun together and i like that let's put the hammer down i love this fdj are here of course your <laughs> team um i'm just going to take a moment to talk about them we saw uh, we spoke to lauren kitchen a few weeks ago and she mentioned how much support the team has given riders and how much security the team has given riders in saying we will pay your salaries this season What's your take on it? It's, it's brilliant to see. It's awesome. Like, um, and especially I feel that we have had a really, really good support from our team, like always um, uh, informing us and always asking, you know, to the personal side, like, how are we doing? And um, yeah, it, it has felt really good. And I actually also received um, a box uh, from the team. Like, it's, it's super nice. It came with the, with the mail. Um, and there's all sorts of like energy things and oh, nice. um, like it was a little page with a little note in and you know then you feel oh, a little bit of love in this time is is always needed no yeah like they're supporting you they're always thinking of you as well it's exactly what's needed I love that. Um, Tom Austin London has just uh, sent a comment in saying, this is the best Instagram live. I'd love to know who you think has the coolest kit in the women's peloton. Thanks <laughs> for doing the interview. Okay, so apart from your team, you can't say your own team, because obviously you would. <laughs> of course I'm going to say my own team. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
which ah, but then I, I don't know which which has the coolest uh mm. There's a lot of cool jerseys out there. What do you think, Laura? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. You're like, I can't really ask this question because of sponsor commitment. So I'll turn it around on you, Laura. Um, I always love, I love colour, uh, as you can tell. Um, and I love the Canyon Tram kit. I think year on year, that's a very, very cool kit. But isn't that the boring thing to say? Like, obviously, that is a cool kid, but everyone says that. No, you must. Yeah, it's true. I'm maybe I'm boring. Maybe. Oh, there. <laughs> yeah, Danish national team. That is a good one. Yes, you know, <laughs> oh, for the Olympics, our kid at the Olympics is pretty cool. Do you remember okay. that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I do. It I is do. Such a cool kid. Yeah. Okay. We'll go for the Danish national kit. Let's see. We had another question as well, which was. Do you put the hammer down on Zwift as much as in real life? <laughs> of course I put the hammer down. <laughs> yes, I love putting the hammer down. So... Oh, but we need to get you doing it in a race. This is my aim. By the end of this Instagram Live, you will be in a race. <laughs> you will be entered in a Zwift race. That's my aim. Okay. Mm, I can't Let's... promise anything, Laura. I can't promise. Um, we've got another question in from Robert Witchell. He says, everyone has a favorite bike. What's yours? LaPierre, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness me. Um, so you're allowed to ride outside at the moment, aren't you? Yes. Um, in Denmark, you can ride outside, can't you? Yes. Yeah, we, are. Um, we have a couple of questions about routes you're taking. Um, yeah. So your favorite training route in um, I think they meant Copenhagen because um, they said like CPH, which I presume is Copenhagen. That um, is Copenhagen. That's from M. Hoffman. Mm -hmm. What's my favorite route? Mm -hmm. Ooh, that is a good one. I like them um, because we have so much coastline, you know, so I love going where you can see, you know, like going along the coast um, and that we call Strandbein. But, you know, you, you need to, to be up ahead. But I don't know if we can... Um, like it, it's difficult to explain here. Like can, maybe I can send it in some way to Box <laughs> and then you can post uh, one of the okay. favorite rides. Perfect. Yeah, we'll do that. That's good. Okay. Um, Jeff Trevor as well has also asked. Um, riding in Denmark, there's not like a whole lot of space. So do you cross the islands and go into different countries as well? <laughs> I have to like work on my job. I think it's yeah. Germany. <laughs> Denmark. He's ready. Do you cross islands to Germany? <laughs> I was like, is Denmark near Germany? Yeah, oh, come yeah. on, Laura. <laughs> I get <can't>. it. <laughs> okay, My yes. geography is not good, okay? <laughs> okay, but, you know, Copenhagen is, is closer to Sweden. So, mm -hmm. you know, so we if we want to cross Sweden, that works. Yeah, I, I'm closer to Sweden than I am to Germany. Then I have to cross an island, which is called Fyn, and then I have to go to, to Yulen and then down to, to Germany. Well, anyway, um, it's not that often that I jump, that I island jump. Um, but you know, another thing is that I would really, because we have, it's crazy. We have so many islands here in Denmark, yeah. you know, it's like we I have, mean, no, but we have oh, more than 50, more, more than, mm. I don't know. Yeah, it's crazy. And I've never been, to, I've only been to one <laughs> and that's Von Holm. <laughs> that's oh, a wow. lovely island. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah I've um, never been to Denmark. Have you what? No, never been to your country. <gasps> ever. What Laura? No. You need to and come and in the Copenhagen middle of a global is, pandemic is not the time to plan a visit. But I would I would love to come. And Copenhagen is a nice city. You need yeah. to come to Copenhagen. Yeah, when this is all over, come to Copenhagen. Okay. Oh, and you know what? We can party in Copenhagen, I tell you. We can <laughs> oh, and yeah. we have fun. It's a beautiful city as well. Yeah. yeah. I tell you. This is the thing, because when you came to Rouleur in November, you came to London, and I was like, oh, great, off-season, we're going to get Cecily out on the dance floor in London, party, party, and then you were like, oh, yeah, I'm flying back tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, no. How is this oh, happening? You flew I know. in and back in one day. It was crazy. Like, what that yeah. was the most crazy day I've ever done. Seriously. I mean, it was t more than 24 hours, no sleep. And, like, <laughs> I was just so cracked. Ah, uh, it was so stupid. 
Uh, anyway, and I didn't, like you say, I just came there for, you know, having fun with you guys, but not on the dance floor. We, um, we, I owe you guys. Oh, there you're back. Oh, you, you froze again, but you're, it's okay. You're back. You're back. I'm just reading through some of these um, questions that are coming in. Um, someone has yes. asked if they can have their Fanta stock back, please. It's Graham Hind. Have you been clearing <laughs> out Fanta stock somewhere? No, you cannot have it. I have my Fanta stock here and I'm saving it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, have you been to Louis Louisiana Art Museum? Yes, it's, it's, it's super nice as well. Yeah, a lot of lovely art. And they have a, a beautiful garden, like with a beautiful view. That is something we should also do. If, are you into art, Laura? <laughs> I don't know a whole lot about it. I'm not not into art. This is a piece of art on my wall. This is uh, a cycling photo <laughs> of Liège, Baston Liège, actually. Oh. Um, yeah, from Rouleur. But I'm not not <laughs> into art, but I'm not an expert or a passionate fan of art. Mm. I like art. Do you? Mm. Okay. How much? How much do you know about it? How much time do you spend, kind of? reading about it, looking, looking at it, going to galleries. I've actually become really interested about it. I don't know. There's also plenty of time now, right? To <laughs> yeah. look at art. And I'm like, oh, you know, when I like, uh, now I'm renting a place um, in Girona and I'm mm -hmm. like, I want my own place, you know, where I can get my own art up on yeah. the wall. Like, ah, you know, like, mm, that is Oh, cool. I love it. Okay. Mm. Um, how is cycling in Denmark? Someone has asked. It's lovely. <laughs> it's pancake flat. Oh, I miss the mountain. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh. Have you ever been chased by dogs while on a training ride? And how did you yes. handle it? I feel like this is a story this person already knows. This is Matthew de Roadrunner. Man. Um, yes. Tell us the story. Uh, oh, okay. I've actually many stories with the dogs. Oh, okay, so one story. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. And I hate when they're so, you know, when they get violent and then when yeah. they, you know, always, you know, like there's these sweet dogs when they, meep, 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 and then they say, oh, you know, when you're like, ah, it's going to eat me. Yeah. yeah. Um, and oh, uh, yeah, okay. So <laughs> once we, um, we were on, have you ever been to Greek? To where? <laughs> Greek. Like, isn't it called? Greece. 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 But, oh, yeah, see, it's um, I think... English is not my mother tongue. Okay, no, anyway. Like, <laughs> like Dan I don't know much Danish, so we'll stick to English. It's okay. Um, mm. No, have I been to Greece? Do you know, I think I've been to one of the islands, but yeah. not to the mainland. Okay, I've only been to the island, and I don't know what it's called in English. Uh... I went to Kavos. <laughs> Which is a party island, and I went there when I was eighteen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and it's um, yeah. It's not, okay, it, it's not uh, an entirely wholesome place. Mm, <laughs> it's that not one. that one. Okay. Anyway, no. I we went there, and we were like going up in the mountains, and then you know, then you could hear like a dog coming, and I was like, shit, you know, like an angry dog, mm -hmm. um, and then. Uh, so it came actually from the side, like, I don't know, from, I don't know if it was from a house. And then, it, you know, it started chasing us. And we were like, what the fuck? You know, like, ah, and, we were, uh, and, you know, then you want to be with a, with a guy or a girl who is slower than you. So that, uh, you see ya. <laughs> oh. Sacrifice you to the dogs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, pretty much. Oh, my goodness me. That's... Oh, we we are getting help here. What the island? Crete. Yes. Oh, maybe. Crete. Crete. Thank <laughs> you for helping out here. Oh, I love mm. that. Um, why are there so many pro cyclists coming from Denmark? <laughs> That's a good question. Mm. Um, I think uh, Danish cycling is really blooming, and I feel that um, cycling, like cycling in Denmark, is also pretty big. Like everyone in Denmark has a bike. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like, um, that is, and, and also it creates, um, then it more and more, no? Yeah. Then momentum, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, definitely. And I feel like we've got pretty good momentum, both on the women and the men's side in cycling. Yeah, I'd say so. Um, Letty Borghese has said, show us a replay of your reaction after the Tour of Flanders podium. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, the thing is that I cannot just create it. Like, I just, it's not something that you, you do on demand, you know, it's something that comes, no? <laughs> So. Yeah, no, you know, you're not a performing monkey. I get it. I know what you're saying. <laughs> um, this is a good question. And we've had another question um, as well, similar to this. Are you the one cheering up the team or is there someone crazier than you at SDJ? Um, there are actually some crazy bananas in there. You know, Brody, Brody Chapman is also crazy. And I thought to myself earlier, those two together would be yep. incredible. Man, yep. bonkers. Yes. And also, um, Mael, she's also... Oh, really? <laughs> But she's so... Yeah, she's really funny as well. Um, us two together is uh, double up on banana craziness, I tell you. But it's good fun. Oh, I love it. Um, right, let me see what else we've got. The question that came in from home, actually, again, from Matthew D. Roadrunner, who asked about the dogs. Um, uh -huh. How important is support from your family, firstly, But also, are you the funniest person in your family? And are there <laughs> funny moments? I'm guessing there are quite a few because you're all locked down together right now, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, I'm definitely the funniest. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> well, um, no, I feel my family is pretty funny, actually, all of them. Um, and... What was the other questions? So <laughs> how important <laughs> is support from your family as well? Ah, extremely important. Like, so in the beginning and when I started cycling, it was a lot on, you know, like the practical side and, you know, helping me get to races around in Denmark and stuff. Um, and like now and, and throughout the years, it, uh, I think the, it has been really, really great with the mental support as well that you get from your family. Um, and I wouldn't miss it for a thing. Um, like it's, and I, I feel like it has been quite crucial, you know, to, uh, to where I am today and, and how they support me in getting um, a, a good bike rider. And they have always supported me. Like, it doesn't matter, like, do whatever that makes you happy, you know. And um, yeah, I feel that... Um, pretty special yeah absolutely um do you, do you think you get your personality and your your happiness your optimism from your family mm, yeah i mean my mother is also a crazy one is she, she? Is a, yeah she is Bring her like, in. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get her come. i'm not sure where she is at the, i mean she is in the house somewhere But uh, yeah, I maybe would next time. Absolutely die if she just joined in. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That would be amazing. Uh, maybe by the end of the interview, um, let's find out. Um, okay, a few more questions that we had in before. Um, yeah, there were a couple on training and, and what you're doing at the moment. So, um, firstly, how are you dealing with the lockdown and and life indoors as it is? Um, and the other one was, how are you training at the moment as well? So what does your training schedule look like for now? Yeah, I mean, um, so I'm lucky I can ride outside. So I'm doing a lot, um, or actually all my training outside. And yeah, I just joined Swift last week. So I've yeah. done two sessions on Swift. <laughs> <laughs> and that's pretty much the amount of indoor training that I've done, which was actually outside. I mean, I put the Swift or the, oh, yeah. outside. The outside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I've done all my training outside. Um, and yeah, um, now it's a bit more, you know, back to basic um, and yeah. a bit more like if it was winter training. So a lot of miles and um, yeah, just um, just waiting a bit to see uh, when can we, because we're all sitting like this and like, oh, yeah. when, when can we get out and put the hammer down? Yeah, exactly. Um, <clears throat> I might, so we've had a question in as well saying, um, talking about Paris Roubaix, but they've mm -hmm. also asked whether, um, which one would you most like to win, Flanders or Roubaix? Uh, Let's say there is a women's Roubaix. Yeah, okay. Um, well, it's hard to, to say that my favorite race to win would be mm -hmm. Roubaix when we obviously don't have it. And sure. Um, it is such an iconic race, right? Um, and I would love to race a Roubaix for, for us women. Um, but yeah, I mean, we have raced Flanders for many years now and it's one of my favorite races. So yeah, um, if I had to choose one now, I, I guess it would have to be Flanders because we haven't raced a Roubaix. So yeah, but yeah. I would love to. 
Yeah. Do you look forward to a women's Paris-Roubaix as well? Yes. I mean, it would be so epic to ride the couples. Yeah. Um, and I feel like the atmosphere, and that's also what I love about cycling and about races, is that you just have those spectators and that, you know, they cheer you on. And then you just feel motivated and, oh, you go, right? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, where is your favorite place to cycle in Europe? I'm guessing, uh, <coughs> I think <coughs> Italy. Oh, it, it, does it have to be like in the Tuscany area? Oh, it's oh. such a nice place, right? Yeah. Oh. It's on the Strada Bianca area? Yes. Yeah. Oh, with the wide gravel road. Yeah, awesome. beautiful race. Such yes. a beautiful race. Yes. Um, who were your heroes, sport or otherwise, growing mm -hmm. up? That's from Falcon 2-3. I don't know. I mean, um, I've had a lot of people that, you know, I've looked up to. Um, in general, I, I really look up to strong, independent women. So. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right? Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> um, so, um, like Michelle Obama and yes. Oprah and like these that I feel an inspiration. That is mega cool, you know. Yeah, so that is my answer. Love that. Um, has the supply of avocados been affected in the current climate? <laughs> or do you still have a good supply? <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I have a good supply, <laughs> luckily. Because I would not be happy without my avocados. <laughs> so thank God. That, that we have our avocados. <laughs> Are you doing quite a lot of cooking at the moment? Are you finding time in lockdown to get creative in the kitchen? Yes, yes, yes. I mean, I've done so much kick, uh, kitchen. <laughs> kitchen. <laughs> I've, okay, cleaning as well, right? We have yeah. so much time for oh. cleaning. Yeah. Um, but yeah, also a lot of cooking. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm into I'm really into dal at the moment yeah um, love really dal love dal mm, yummy in my tummy I tell you mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's your what's your favorite food oh favorite is it, food sorry, is it avocado is that a stupid question mm, yeah maybe I would say that yeah I mean if I had to choose like one thing that I would this is the thing that you get and you need to have the rest of your life and you cannot eat anything yeah. from this. I would say avocado. Okay. Avocado. Um, so the person who asked about where the best place to cycle in Europe is an Italian. So they are very happy with your answer. There you go. Um, we're also asking who is your cycling hero or inspiration? That is from Graham Hind as well. But there's so many. Like they, I, I cannot say one person. They have so many inspirational people, uh, both on the men and the women's side, who are just doing an awesome job. And you know that, that you feel, what I really like about athletes is when you feel their dedication to it and, um, and you feel their passion about it. Um, yeah, there's, there's many. There's not, I cannot mention one. Oh, okay. Can you give us a few? Yeah. Um, a short list. A sh <laughs> No, no, Laura, I'm not going to give you one because I feel like then I would, you know, like be forgetting others. So, oh, gosh. yeah, I'm really boring. I know. <laughs> no, you're just on to journalists like me who want to get an answer out of you. Uh, it's a good thing. But you're tough, Laura. You'll get an answer out of me. Always. Yeah. And I'll <laughs> see you on the start line of a race on Swift as well. Um, which Alp is your favorite? How much have you ridden in the Alps? Alps. Um, I don't know. I, I haven't ridden that much in the Alps. Um, so can't, can't say a climb or a mountain that uh, is my favorite. Just like mountains in general. I miss mountains. Here in Denmark, it's so pancake flat. My. Get you climbing soon. Um, yes. Good question here. Espresso or cappuccino? And someone's replied saying she doesn't need coffee. Amy Keenan <laughs> has done that, which I love. It's so true. Mm. But yeah, I see you drink coffee. Um, yes. So I know you drink it. <laughs> I have it here. It's all good. You have a coffee now. It's 7.30. It's 8.30. <laughs> no, it's tea. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but you don't need coffee. How can it down? Oh, but there, it's a uh, chamomile, so no coffee, no caffeine. Ah, uh, lovely. All good. 
Um, yeah, espresso well, what's cappuccino. The, oh, but that's for the mood, no? So sometimes the mood is yeah. cappuccino and sometimes the mood is espresso. So yeah. both. I love coffee in all of them. Yeah, I find in the morning, before midday, I can have a cappuccino. But then anything after that, I'm just, you need that like espresso. And yeah, then, you know, <laughs> before a race on Zwift, a little espresso. Yeah, that's a good to go to. Yeah, I love that. Um, Amy Kingy also sent in another question as well. When mm -hmm. it's safe, where's the first place you want to visit? <clears throat> My home, <laughs> which is in Spain. Girona. So, yeah. Girona. Yeah, I just, I, I, oh, I miss Girona and I miss the mountains. I miss the, the community in Girona. Um, I miss the mountains. I miss the good weather. Ugh. Yes. Yeah. No, Girona is stunning as well. It's one of my favorite places in the world, I think. Uh, favorite race in Spain? Of course, you won. Um, let me get this right. Set Manus and Pista Valenciana in 2017. Yeah. <laughs> Dance. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what is my favorite race in Spain? Mm -hmm. I, I, I guess I'll say that one then. Yeah, the one you won. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> that's, that's we've got. Are you going to attack from the gun at the first race back? Yes, we'd love to see that. Literally, the flag drops, you're gone. That's it. <laughs> Big okay. breakaway. Um, from the gun, from the gun. <laughs> but I, for sure, you'll see me active. I okay. promise you that. We can't wait. Um... The real racing Doris, as Emily Meekin of Drops, has said, do you have regular testing in your training? Mm, yeah, I mean, mostly actually on the road. So we do testing, my coach and, and I do testing on the road. Um, so I'll just do the same kind of test. And we do first the three minute all out and then we'll spin the legs. And then um, a 12 minute one. Oh, 12 minutes. Oh. Yes. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> horrible. Although I, I don't know whether three minutes would be worse. Which is which is more painful in a sense? Mm, uh, I don't know. Uh, like the whole thing is just when you're done, you're like a happy yeah. fish. <laughs> it's a good feeling, isn't it? After you've done that little effort or that test you need to do, and you're mm. hopefully happy with the result. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Um, we have another question here, Seb mm -hmm. Libon. I hope I'm mm -hmm. saying these names right. I'm probably not. Where do you picture yourself and your career in five years' time? I hope that I have won a world tour race at that point. <laughs> you want to see that by the end of 2020. I want to win a, yeah. a big race. Um, and yeah, I feel in five years, I'm, I'm still going strong right i want and i don't know like uh yeah uh, is that good enough or yeah 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 i'll take that yeah win a big world tour race i'm thinking that's gonna happen well this year what what are your hopes for the season beyond beyond our situation at the moment oh I really hope, you know, that we can get back, like, in August, like, when they, when we hopefully can, can go back and do some World Tour races. I mean, there's still one Sweden and Norway. So, yeah. we hope that we can get back. Um, and, yeah, I hope that uh, just go out and have some fun. And, oh, I want to go out and race. And, and um, yeah, I mean, I still... Yeah, I, I mean, the hopes are still that I, that we do a good result, but like, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, which lockdown Netflix box set or blockbuster film would you recommend? What are you watching at the moment or what have you been binging on? Um, like maybe I watch a bit of Netflix um, at times. I mean, Actually, our family is also a lot of movies. So okay. then we put a movie on and like then you, you have a little cinema evening, no? And then yeah. popcorn and just have a nice evening with the family. Um, that's also the word in Danish that's called hygge. You know, have yes. you heard about that? Yes. And I never know how to pronounce it. And I know it's hygge. 
Yeah, pretty good. I know this. And then when I see it, I just want to say hi, girl, because uh, I'm, I'm English. Um, yeah. British. And I speak English. But hygge, okay, it's that, it's that kind of like comfy home feeling, right? Yes. It's yeah. like, oh, you sit on, on your blanket and you yeah. just have cozy time with your family or friends or your loved ones. And then um, there's always a snack to it. Hygge involves eating. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, what are your questions besides cycling? Maybe a comedian. <laughs> what is my what? Passions besides Passion. cycling. Yeah. <laughs> Can't have avocado <laughs> and Fanta. Can't have them. <laughs> what am I passion? I'm. I'm. I do cook a lot. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know if I if I have like a yeah not not something worthy to say. Okay. <laughs> That's. We'll go with cooking and cycling. Thank, thank, thank. Um, this is a really hard question. And I really love that this person has written. So it's Leon's Terman has said, the Tuesday dilemma is actually Wednesday. <laughs> 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 but we're all, we've all been there. No one knows what day it is, really. Um, you can never, ever drink coffee again. Or you can never, ever eat avocado. Oh, God. That is a terrible, terrible question. Because I... <laughs> Because I don't want... We'll ban I, them I mean, from the page. Oh, God. <laughs> no, I'm joking. It's a great question. I would say um, avocado. Never eat avocado again. Yeah. I don't know. Mm. I would Life be is sad. Worse, you, you're worse off, aren't you? Life I is would be, Either way. Yeah, man, no, but seriously, Laura, life would not be worth living if it was without the coffee or avocado. So I cannot answer this question. Okay, I'm sorry for asking it. Okay, we'll move on. Uh, people are hoping to see you race. Someone has said Huga again to me, um, which is great. <laughs> um, <I love> that. <laughs> Leo's Germans just sent a devil face. Yeah, we did not like that question. Um, that was okay. Uh, but love to you, uh, Leo. Leon. Yeah, thank you for asking a question that could not be answered. You're a better journalist than I am. Um, We've had two questions in. Um, I've got a few more myself, but if you've got any more, please write them in below and we'll, we'll try and get them answered. We're going to wrap up in, in a few minutes or so. Um, two questions that were quite similar that came in, which I love, from King Pleb and Dom A. And they were, why are you so happy? <laughs> and, what ma- <laughs> and what makes you happy? Which I think uh, are really lovely questions. Riding my bike makes me happy. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I like, yeah, I, I think like we talked about, like I'm a human. Um, we have our ups and downs. Like I'm not all the time. Like sometimes I'm also sad and I'm also <laughs> down in the basement. Um, but I feel uh, that um, we should try to focus on the positive things. Um, and I think that's what I try. Yeah, just a little positive thing every day. Mm-hmm. And I think uh, the the yes, and I think um, being a bit crazy as well it helps. Yeah, definitely. Have you always been this crazy? <laughs> Did you <laughs> grow into your craziness? I think maybe you know because I've crashed a lot, um, <laughs> and maybe you know hitting the asphalt really many times helps going crazy. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. I mean, it's a it's a bonus from crashing right <laughs> you come out totally but don't crashed. do it at home don't do it at yeah. home don't don't try to get crazy and hit the asshole with your head first <laughs> oh god okay we have a couple more questions um mm-hmm. yes emily meekin has asked can you tell us about the last kilometers of flanders in the break with marta and mm. um Annemiek? yes <laughs> I just remember yeah. that <laughs> I just remember it was so crazy hot, you know, like I was just ugh. and then we were going full gas, you know, around and then we saw that there were a group behind us and we were like, "My they're coming." Oh, my. <laughs> right around, girls, come on. We need to get because, you know, and then yeah. Was that good? Yeah, I liked that. And then, yeah, fuck the hammer down. I love it it's, so much. Yeah. <laughs> it's brilliant. Um, have you been learning French since you joined SDJ? Do you know a bit of French already? 
a little bit. Yeah, I feel like when I'm together with the team, I also get so much better because then, you know, you hear it and then um, then you get into it in a way. Um, but I've heard a little uh, thing with it that you are learning French. Sweet, Laura. That's Maybe why you, you should speak to Cecily for an interview because she spills all your secrets. Uh, yeah, I am learning French. Yeah, I am. I know, it's exciting. I've, I've done a bit of French before and I lived in Switzerland for a few years, so I kind of should be a lot better than I am. So I wanted to use the time we've all got now to develop a skill and to actually come out of it with something to show for myself rather than hours on Netflix. So yeah, I learned a little bit of French, you know. Well done. Yeah, <laughs> doing my best. Um, the roaming wrench. <laughs> I almost called you the roaming wench, sorry. The roaming wrench. If you were stuck on a desert island, what three <laughs> things would you take with you? <laughs> Avocado. Fanta and <laughs> uh, yeah, but the thing is, okay, so but then you go in survival mode, no? Yeah. Okay, so uh, I'm on an island. What what do I take? Um, it's a difficult. Can I take a phone? So then I can call someone and say, ah, I'm I'm on an island. Come and pick me up. But yeah, but it would run out of battery, wouldn't it? It might overheat. Could get sand in it. Could get wet. <sighs> I know. Uh, okay, so is that out? But I just wanted to call and say, hey, he help me, and then send my position. <laughs> okay, um, definitely, uh, okay, some, some ropes, because then I could build something, you know, like, um, what do you call that, But where you float on the water? Like, um, like a raft. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I, uh, uh, a hammer, <laughs> or maybe... <laughs> <laughs> no, not a hammer, but uh, a thing to cut things, uh, a knife, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah, or a saw. And then, and then you can also protect yourself, no? Yeah, yeah. Or knife. kill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And mm, the last thing, uh, maybe avocado, just because that would make me happy, even though I'm alone on a desert island and I'm probably going to die. Okay. Oh, God. Um, someone's asking about Zwift. Um, we have talked about Zwift already. This will be on the Vox Women um, story for the next 24 hours. So you can go back and relive all of the joy that has been this Instagram live. Um, someone's asking if you're going to start cyclocross this year. Oof, I like Ooh. cyclocross. You know, I actually mm. like like in the winter to do something different. Like to either go on the mountain bike or the cross bike or... Um, I'm not sure that I would do races because you need actually some, you know, technique, um, <laughs> which I suck at. Um, but I think it's fun to do some different, you know, also for the mind. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. What's the French word for hygge? I don't know. <laughs> I think it might just be the same. They often just... But the <laughs> thing is, Laura, there's not, there's no, it, it cannot be translated. Yeah. Hygge cannot be translated. That. Mm. Then it's it's hygge. Okay, that's good. Um, and a few more questions. I like this one. Um, what do you eat to treat yourself after a race? What's your go-to snack, go-to drink after a I, race? I, uh, everything. Oh, my God. I, um, I really have a sweet tooth. Uh, yeah. that's a, it, that is a problem sometimes. <laughs> anyway, like, oh, it could be pick and mix. I love pick and mix. Like, mm -hmm. sweet. Mm. Um, nothing beats the Danish one, by the way. Um, so pick and mix. I, I also like chocolate, but I don't feel like the first thing I want after a race is chocolate. It's more like, yeah. give me sugar. Yeah, so, yeah. That's what you mean. Um, yeah. So maybe, maybe, um, gummy bears. Um, yeah. Or, yeah, I don't know. I, I want to say cake or ice yeah, cream. Yeah, just but, uh, sugar. Um, give me, yeah. Yeah, I love it. Um, okay, final um, question from me then is, what is the first thing you're going to do when all this is over? Um, I'm going to go out and have some fun. And I'm going to, I hope that the restaurant's open and yeah. that I can go out with my friends. Um, yes. Um, I think that is uh, some, when all this corona thing, oh, we are not allowed to say corona in this. <laughs> We almost got to the end. Oh, no. I destroyed everything. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I um, when this 
thing is over. I want to go out and enjoy enjoy the social life. That is what you should do. That's brilliant. Um, Ceci Upton Ludwig, thank you so much for joining me, for joining Vox Women. Uh, brilliant Q&A. Thank you, everybody, for watching, for all of your questions, for all of your comments. We have had so much fun. This will be on the Vox Women story for the next 24 hours, so you can relive the madness. Go back There's and watch one. it all over again. Um, <laughs> and will we see you in the Zwift race soon? Maybe. Can't promise anything. We'll get her there. Don't worry, we'll get her there. Um, thank you guys so much. Take care, everybody. Thanks Stay for safe. joining, everyone. Yeah, it was thank awesome. You. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys soon. Cheers. Cheers.